Hello, ladies and gentlemen. How are you? Today, the topic is called Use of Modern Technology in the Classroom to Enhance Teaching and Learning. The modern era depicts the transform of traditional learning to learning with technology. A few older adult learners find it hard to maneuver the gadgets of computer-related technology, whereas younger adults are more at ease with the change. Research and study by Kehun in 1998. The rapid evolution of internet technologies is likely to accelerate complicating the teaching and learning of internet skills. Today, we have constant technological change and transform. More powerful protocols replace older ones. The introduction of World Wide Web WWW, and better, faster, and more media-rich internet. What should adult educators do? The adult educators should 1. Help the students to construct mental models that support experimentation and problem-solving. 2. Emphasize the understanding of internet as a social environment and problem-solving. 3. Help students to focus less on the computer itself and cables, etc. Adult continuing education field should continue to be identified as a discipline that respects standards of ethical behavior. There are strategies for designing online instruction. For example, the guidelines for creating online courses. These guidelines are 1. Pedagogical Issues of pedagogy such as learning goals, philosophical changes in teaching and learning, reconceptualization of the teacher's role, evaluation of student and instructor, and the simulation of interactivity, for example, creating a small project, identifying specific content, or synthesizing activities to prove if an assignment is useful and authentic to use in the traditional classroom. How to transfer these to become an online experience? 2. How to interact with each other. For example, promoting discursive language to understand each other's conceptions, whether the interaction should occur synchronously or asynchronously. 3. How is the organization of timing inclusive to face-to-face -face components, group interactions, uh, and prerequisites. Teaching online courses require lots of time. To answer emails, to manage data, and to respond to postings according to Scrum in 1998. Individuals with less computer skill might subject to less successful in online courses. As time spent more on basic word processing tasks, 4. Would the online institution raise revenues? Long-term success is primarily based on recognition in the promotion and tenure process for faculty who create and teach online courses. How to facilitate group learning in an online environment? Web conferencing could be an excellent way to promote participants, moderators, and facilitators Benefits and challenges of using web conferencing. 1. For participants. More people can participate without restraints of time and place. People who may not be comfortable participating in face-to-face -face group have a voice. Asynchronous communication allows flexibility in individual schedules. Participants have time and space to focus independently on the process and content. Participants have time for reflection rather than knee reactions. More data and ideas are collected. Participants are limited space to express their views. Everyone can see everyone else's contributions and build upon them. Satisfaction with the process procedures increased by in to results. 2. For moderators and facilitators, participants must have access to tools and skills to use the web conferencing. Silent participants remain invisible to the group. Participants must be encouraged to schedule and spend time on the process. 
Loss of face-to-face -face social interaction affects the development of group identity. Participants need responses feedback to avoid feelings of isolation. Coping with the volume of data generated can be overwhelming. Participants must be encouraged to keep messages concise and on topic. The moderator must help funeral ideas and discussion to achieve the decision. Resistance may be difficult to perceive and engage. Adult learner and distance internet-based education. Distance internet-based education learning environment provides flexibility and convenience, allowing busy mobile adult learners to engage in education when and where they wish. The advantages of internet-based education are 1. Holds important educational promise for engendering active and experiential learning. 2. Encourages reflection and application. 3. Fosters collaboration and individualized constructions of meaning in learning communities. They extend beyond the boundaries of the traditional classroom or campus. Levels of typology with distance internet-based education studied by Ismond in 1998. Type 1 technology. Learn to use the technology for learning to meaning making. Usually involves in a few adult students work together to overcome technical difficulties and support each other in learning to use the internet activities of the course. Method. Interactive video audio conferencing support by computer, mediated communications, exchange email, newsletters, and discussion groups. 2. Type 2 technology. More advanced, students learn to develop different responses to learning the technology, dealing with information overload, leveling texture ambiguity, processing online information, etc. Method. Web conferencing engage with instructions, scheduled time, response with care, that is, choosing words with cautious, group support, interactivity, and feedback. Type 3 technology. Advanced. A major obstacle is the technology itself. Example, telephone line tie up for network connection, as a Trump. Method. Online conversation. Use Google communication, etc. Conclusion We learn today some of the older adult students or learners find it hard to maneuver the gadgets of computer related technology. We also learn that guidelines for creating online courses are pedagogical issues, interaction, and organizational issues and institution issues. Web conferencing could be an excellent way to facilitate participants, moderators, and facilitators. We also learned that there are levels of typology associated with distance internet-based education. Thank you for participating, watching, and listening. Until next time.